Hey to the girls, hi to the guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm singer songwriter Chantel Soleil, and this is Behind the Music. Thank you so much for tuning into this video because although I do like doing a lot of videos where I'm talking about different stuff, this is about something that's near and dear to my heart my music. So on Behind the Music, I like to really talk about what was my inspiration behind the music. You all get to see the end product, the end goal of my whole vision, but let's just take a second to see what things looked like before the song got to what you hear now. Today we're talking about my single that just came out today. It's called Good Feeling. Um, Good Feeling. It's available on all streaming platforms. That's Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you listen to music on, my song will be there. You just have to go to your search engine, search Good Feeling or search Chantel Soleil Good Feeling and there you have it. If you want to take it a step further, you can also purchase it directly from your iTunes store, directly from Amazon Music, wherever you want to. A purchase goes a long way. If you don't purchase it, just make sure you stream it and add it to your favorite playlist. All right, now that we've gotten those details out the way, let's get into the song. Or the song is called Good Feeling. Um, it's a really good vibe. The song actually gives you a good feeling. It's kind of like... I want to say like reggae, soca mixed with neo soul. Um, the beat was produced by GK Supreme, who also produced my last single, 90s R&B. So you know it's going to be a good production. Um, the beat is just the beat itself is 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 beautiful. It makes you want to dance. It makes you want to get up. It makes you want to I don't know get a drink in your hand. Just go and do something fun. But it's good feeling, and I feel like it was a good song to close out the summer. It's coming to an end, but we can still keep those good vibes going. You feel me? Exactly. Let's get into the writing process. So as I said before, the beat was produced by uh, GK Supreme. I'm the type of writer where I typically have a beat first and then I can write to the beat. I can write to any beat, any song, any genre. So it's kind of hard for me to just sit down and write a song without music. Unless I'm feeling poetic, then in that, that situation, I can kind of write a song and then put it to music. But I'm typically, as a writer, I prefer to have my beat first, get inspired by the beat, um, talk, with this, talk with the producer, see what they heard. And that's kind of how that went. So I heard the beat first and I was just like, ooh, I like that song, I like that song, I like that song. So that's how the uh, process went. The inspiration behind the song, um, in the past I had a lot of albums that were like heartbreak, vulnerable. That was the album after my divorce. So that was really like about, you know, love and heartbreak, things of that nature. I had other albums like Ill Will was an EP of me just rapping, pretty much me just popping, popping my stuff, just letting you know like why I'm here. I could do everything, you know. I've had other albums where it's just like an array of different types of music. But this specific song, I'm in a different place. I'm, I'm inspired because I'm not heartbroken. I'm not sad. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not making no sad love music. So this if you're in your sad phase, I apologize because this is not going to be the song for you. But um, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm inspired to write about true love. I'm inspired to write about real love, especially in a world where like all the R&B girlies are talking about heartbreak and we don't got no feelings and forget that nigga. And just like so much like I'm just trying to hear some hear, some healed, healthy girl music. So that's what I'm on. I'm healed. I'm healthy. I'm in a good place. Um, I'm in a great relationship. I'm in a good place with God. I'm just all around in a good place in my life. So good feeling is just like, it's just about that. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of where I would say the inspiration came from because I'm writing from a different place now. A fun fact about the song is that originally it was not going to be called Good Feeling. When I first wrote the song, it was going to be called Who, What, Where, When, and Why. <laughs> or like the four W's, Who, What, Where, or like the five W's, something like that. But when we get to the lyrics segment, I'll get more into like why that's, that's what I was going to call it at first. All right, so now we're getting into the lyrics segment where we just go over the, some of the lyrics from the song that I wrote and kind of go into depth into what the song really is deeply about. Um, as I said it before, I was going to write the song. Originally, I was going to name it Who, What, Where, When, and Why because I wrote the song in stanzas, kind of like posing questions. These are questions that I wrote. Like These are questions that are posed, you know, honestly, if you're being completely honest, nobody really talks about how hard it is to go from a, to go from bad relationships to a healthy and good relationship. A lot of times it makes you like second guess everything, make you look around and make you have all these questions like who it makes you overly paranoid when it's like, girl, just enjoy being happy. Just enjoy that someone is loving you. Just enjoy that this is healthy and this is real. So 
that's really what the inspiration came from. In this song, I'm asking these questions kind of like just in general, like who wants a love that ain't built to last? Who made me say, boy, this is my last? Who wants to love me in spite my past? Who helped me up when I was down bad? So yeah, like who wants a love that ain't built to last? Like why would you be in something that's not gonna you know it's not gonna end and i've done that before like been in relationships where it's like i know this point it's not it's just something for now no i don't i don't want that um who maybe say boy this is my last like this is my last relationship this is my last one who wants to love me in spite of my past you know and who helped me up when i was down bad like yeah when i think about who was there my lowest times it was my man my man my man my man the next we going to what so what makes you think that I would leave? What came over me to say these things? What does real love really mean? What if I don't live up to your dreams? So those are questions again, like where did we go so right? Where it should have went wrong? Where were you in hindsight and where have all our friends gone? That's the one I like the most because where did we go so right? Like how do we even end up here where it seemed like everything in our life was going bad but the only thing right that came out of everything was me and you. So like that was like, yeah, I was I was I was on song with that. <laughs> where did we go so right where it should have went wrong? So like if you know me, my relationship and like a lot of things happened that should have been detrimental to our relationship, like friends like that we were associated with business stuff that happened. And the typical relationship would have broke up because it was a lot, a lot, a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and a lot of stuff that was really trying to pull us apart from each other. But yeah, where it should have went wrong is exactly where things went right. That's beautiful. Where were you in hindsight? Like, where were you all these years? We were in the same vicinity, the same place. We should have been just got together and we would have saved ourselves so much heartbreak if we had to just found each other a long time ago. And then where have all our friends gone? Again, like losing friends, losing relationships. And then you look up, it's just me and my man. Like, yeah, I still have friends, but like those strong friendships that we had, like if you ain't experienced losing friends, that's like really close friends, it hurts, you know, it really hurts. And then when you look up and like, dang, where are, where are our friends? It, it's just it's just me and you. It's like our friends ain't starting a family. We are. <laughs> our friends ain't spending life together. We are. So it's like, yeah, you got that good feeling. So it's... Mm. Then we go into when. When did you know I was the one? Of course, as females, we always ask on the extra questions. When did you know I was the one? When did you know other feelings were gone? When did you truly decide that I was right or die? When did you when did you know? So that just speaks to that. How sometimes as females we can get we be needing that extra reassurance, like, but boy, why is you here? Why is you really here? So more like that. Then we get into why. Why now? Why me? Why after so many things? After everything we thought, oh no, no, why you love me? Why you really love? So like <laughs> then we get back to you got that good feeling but it's very real it's these are who what where when and why and to relationships it's not always sometimes it is hard to love after you've been hurt so much when you've lo when you've given your all when you've loved genuinely and you still didn't receive what you thought you was going to you were supposed to get out of it instead you ended empty and broken it is scary to really give up yourself again to someone so that's really what this song was about. At the end of the day, it's like, you got that, you got that good feeling. Boy, good. Good, 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 good. Those type of vibes, you know. But that's how my man make me feel. Like, I'm in love. I'm happy. I'm about to be married. Like, good feeling, good feeling, good feeling. It ain't going to all be sunshine and rainbows. But, like, you know, your person is there for you. You know your person got you. And at the end of the day, he give me that good feeling. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you stay to the end and watch this video, I just want to say I really, 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 really appreciate you. Um, Please make sure you download the song. Don't just download it. Share it with people. I make good music. You know what I'm saying? Share me. Don't hide me in a closet. Don't hoard me for yourself. Don't gatekeep. Share my music. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.